Oh, hi. Uh, it's Kevin Kloss here. You might remember me from such films as Ice Age Columbus and, oh, I don't know, Shania, A Life in Eight Albums. Many, many famous films. Uh, but I'm also a musician and a guitar player based um, up here in Lavac, Ontario. And um, a friend of mine sent me a message a few days ago asking me about um, one of my videos on, on the YouTube about what the tuning was. And every time I try to explain this tuning, I immediately get tongue-tied trying to describe how it's done. Um, because it's, it's a hybrid uh, guitar. I learned that term from my buddy Kenny. Um, the, the strings are not in the same order as on a regular guitar. Um, as far as I know, I invented this. It's my one small contribution to the guitar playing world. Um, and I thought I'd just explain how it works. It's a very cool, um, very cool instrument and can lead to a lot of interesting um, ideas and, and kind of inspire songwriting. But before I uh, show you what the strings are, I should tell you how I came about this tuning. Um, most musicians, I think, are familiar with the uh, high-strung guitar. Very popular way of uh, mixing things up, getting different sounds. Paul Simon's a big fan of it. My, my friend Ian Tamblin uses the high string a lot. And uh, I love it. I use it in the studio a ton. I think my friend Sean Pitzel of Mission Studio was the first person that um, suggested this tuning to me, and I had never really heard of it before. But, uh, but essentially, what a high-strung guitar is, if you just picture a 12-string guitar, and then you remove all of the normally tuned strings, so the low E, the low A, and so forth, the strings that are left on the guitar are these ones, and they're, they're basically an octave above each of the normally tuned strings, except for the B and the E, which are just doubled, so they're the same. And it's called Nashville tuning or, or high tuning. And it has this beautiful, chimey sound that is just quite addictive. Lots of famous songs have used the high strung guitar, but. So the way I went from this to that is I just woke up one night um, if I'm remembering this correctly, with this idea that, wh well, what if you took the high strung guitar and tuned it down much, much lower, so you had a, a thicker, kind of more guitar sound and, and less chimey and high? Because you, you can't tune these strings down as low as I wanted to go because they get too floppy to play. So I, I decided that I needed to figure out the gauges of these strings and then kind of work down to the to the gauges that I needed to make this lower tuned guitar. So I worked it all out on paper and I came up with this. This is pretty much um, I think about four and a half semitones lower. No, hold on, that's supposed to be there. Yeah, so this is one, two, three, four and a half tones lower than than a high strung guitar. Um, and what it ends up being is that um, these two notes here are a D and a G string, and they're actually tuned to D and G. But the strings that I use for this tuning are a normal G, a normal D, this is a B, another G, another D, and an A. Although this one I've um, eventually discovered that to put a, a low E here, where there's supposed to be a low E, is better because you can tune it down um, to some of the tunings that I liked. But essentially it would be D, oh, sorry, G, D, B, G, D, A, and then just tuned normally like a high strum. So you could tune it like a high strung guitar and you can play normal chords and you get this beautiful, thick, beautifully mid-rangey sound. It's just pretty amazing. And of course, I immediately started messing with the tuning um, within that hybrid guitar. The first one I think I played around with was um, Open D. 
Although now it becomes a, a C, this would be a C chord. I wrote a song called uh, 52 Times Around the Sun with this tuning. Times around the sun, fifty two times around the sun, fifty two times around the sun is a pretty good ride. It's a pretty good ride. Haven't done that one in ages. Um, and then I just kind of worked from there. Actually, no, I think that was an F. This would be a C. tell you exactly what notes these are right now is never really figured it out but um, just like a normal guitar I started messing about with tunings I came up with this uh, tuning which I wrote uh, an instrumental piece called the courtesy of Fred's two feet Beautiful sound, very haunting, very rich. And wh what, um, as I continued to play with this tuning, um, what I discovered was because you only have one unwound string, that tends to become your melody string. And having these extra, this extra G and extra D, just allows you to create very close, closely voiced chords. Um, so almost anything you do with it. I mean, not that. Um, just sounds completely unguitar like, but at the same time, it's still a guitar. Um, so there you have it. That's the what I call the hunk of monkey, tuning, which is named after another tune that I wrote using this. And I've written several songs over the years using this guitar. Um, uh, you, now, if you if you try to do this on your own instrument, uh, you should know that the uh, the nut, or sorry, the the um, um, yeah, the nut. The two slots that the E and the B go into are too narrow to hold a D and a G string. So you'll have to take it to some guitar repair guy. Uh, they have special little files that they can widen those slots so that the D and the G slide in there and come down far enough so that the guitar will intonate. Otherwise, it's a real pain. The strings are just poking too far up. Um, and it does, you can still put normal strings in there after you do it, so it's not that big of a deal. And it'll take a guitar repair person like literally five minutes to do that job, so it's not going to cost you a bunch of money. So, so there you go. That's the Hunkamunka guitar. Um, I should mention this is the Yamaha Silent guitar that I have this um, hybrid stringing on because it's my kind of my favorite guitar these days. Um, so there you have it. So uh, yeah, support musicians. Give them money. Um, if you want to go to my band camp, you can get CDs of mine. Look at them. I've got how many do I have? Twelve? Thirteen? My God, I've been doing this way too long. But you can help me out by doing that. Or you can message me about a guitar lesson if you want to learn more about how to use this tuning. I've got some tab that I could turn you on to. It's not terribly tricky if you're, um, you know, a reasonably uh, proficient guitar player. Um, anyway, have a good day. Hope that didn't uh, waste too much of your time or bore you to death. But uh, just thought I'd throw it out there as someone asked. Have a good one.